Hi everyone, I want to introduce you to my new friend, Ms. Fox. She's going to be joining us for this unit. Today, Ms. Fox, I am wondering about numbers to five. But before I get started, I'm going to pour myself a cup of tea and I'll meet you at my desk. off this activity, I thought it would be fun to share with you my I spy tray. I'm going to give you plenty of time in just a minute to study my tray. And when you do, I want you to look for objects where there's just one of something, or two items that could be the same, or three, or four, or five. Let me show you different ways to look at my tray. Take, for example, my frog. How many frogs can you see on my tray? There is just one frog. But let's look closer to my frog. How many legs can you see on him? One, two, three, four. I see four legs. So we could say there is one frog or my frog has four legs. Do you see how my one object can be used different ways? Let's try another way. Do you see my pennies on my tray? Count how many pennies you can find. I see one, two, three, four, five. We could say I have five pennies, but how much is each penny worth? One cent. So my penny can either be one for one cent or I have five pennies all together. When it's your turn to look at the tray, I want you to see how many different ways you can find each number. Have fun. Did you have fun with the I spy tray? I hope so. For this activity, we are going to play a new game. I am going to lift up a cup one at a time and then you get to count how many bears are underneath. And when you get your answer, I want you to hold up your number card so I can see it. Are you ready to begin? Here we go. Ready? How many bears are there? Hold up your number card. Did you hold up this number? Good job. What number is it? Three is right. Let's try it again. Ready? How many bears can you see? Hold up your number card. Is this the number? You got it. What number is it? Four is right. I have two more. Ready? How many bears? Hold up your number card. Did you hold up this one? Good job. One is right. And my last cup. How many bears? Hold up your number card. Is this what you got? You did it! Two is right. Now, let's match our numbers one more time. I'm going to point to some bears and I want you to tell me what number card I should match with it. Ready? How about these bears? How many bears are there? Four! I should match the number four with my four bears. How about this bear? What number should I put there? One is right. Let's match my number one to my one bear. How many bears are here? Three is right. Let's put three with my three bears. 
And what number is left? Two. I am going to put my number two in front of my two bears. We did it. Good job. For our next game, I want you to have your number cards and your counters ready. Here we go. I'm going to hold up a number card and I want you to count out the same number of objects. Are you ready? Let's start. What number is this? Two. Can you count out two objects? One, two. And put your card next to the objects. What about this number? Four. Can you count out four objects? I'm going to do it. One, two, three, four. Oh, which number is this? Good. Count out your object for one. There's mine. What number is this? Five. Can you count out five objects? I'm going to do it too. One, two, three, four, five. Here's my five. And my last number. Which number is this? Three is right. Let's count out three objects. One, two, three. Oh. We did it. Good job. Now to clean up, we're going to play a game. I'm going to say a number and I want you to take away those objects and put them back. Let's start with number one. Find your number one and your number and put them away. Two. Find your two and your two objects and put them away. Can you guess what's next? Three. Here's my three. Let's clean up our three objects. Four. Let's put away our four objects. And my last number is five. Let's clean up our five objects. Good job. For our next game, I want you to draw along with me. You can use a pencil or paper or a dry erase marker and whiteboard like I have. When I roll the dice, we are going to count the dots and draw that same number. Ready? How many dots is that? One. Let's draw one circle. Good job. Let's try it again. How many dots is that? One, two, three, four. Let's draw four circles. One, two, three, four. Your circles can look like mine or you can make yours look differently. It's okay. What number do you see there? One, two. Let's draw two circles. One, two. Which number do you see there? Let's count the dots. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to draw five circles. One, two, three, four, five. I'm looking for one more number. Can you tell what number is missing? I got it. What number is this? One, two, three. Let's draw three circles. One, two, three. Now, to end our activity, I'm going to say a number, and I want you to put a box around the same number of circles. Ready? Two. Find your group of two circles and put a box around them. 
Here's mine. Let's try a new number. One. Find your one circle and put a box around it. There's mine. How about five? Where's your group of five circles? Put a box around it. Here's mine. How about three? Where are your three circles? Put a box around it. Can you tell what number is left? Four is right. Put a box around four. Good job, everyone. For our last activity, we are in our math books on lesson 2.1. Can you turn in your book to be the same page as mine? Good. Let's take a look at what we see. We want to practice finding objects in our picture from one to five. Can you find something that there is only one of in our picture? Point to it and tell your teacher what it is. I see one sun. How about two of something? What do you see in our picture where there are two? Tell your teacher what you find. I see two flowers. How about three? What is there three of in our picture? Oh, I see three birds right away. Do you see other threes? Four. What do you see four of in our picture? I'm going to show you a really tricky one. Look at the house. I see four squares in each window. Do you see that? How about five? What is there five of? Let's look. I see five branches. One, two, three, four, five. Did you see that? I'm going to stop right there, but I want you to go back with your teacher and find more objects where there is just one, two, three, four, or five. I think you will find much more than what we did together. You'll be surprised. Did you have fun with us today, Ms. Fox? I'm sure glad you were here. Do you remember what I wondered about when we first began? I wondered about numbers to five. But most importantly, what do you wonder? See you next time.